Welcome to STSPN. We're here today at Glacier Peak High School sitting in the top box of the little red wagon behind home plate. Glacier Peak against Edmonds Woodway for a nice fast pitch softball game today. Right in the middle of your screen there you can see today's umpires are out there. That's Lou Davis behind the plate with his back to you talking to Glacier Peak coach at the moment and on the bases out there today will be Nick Nickerson. So getting ready to start here. Glacier Peak taking the field and Edmonds Woodway getting ready to come up to bat here as we start this first inning. I'll everybody remind everybody to come back and watch the high definition version. Yeah, if you're, if you're watching this now, uh, we have a little bit of a signal strength problem out here in the middle of Glacier Peak softball field so we'll be in high definition on the replay if you watch it up later but for now we're live and running so first up for Edmonds Woodway today will be Moni Jackson Moni Jackson the daughter of Nikki Jackson and Nikki Jackson is one of our favorite sponsors out there with Jack Jackson Jackson Plumbing supporting us very very nicely through the years in softball baseball basketball and football so we're looking for a great game here today Edmund Woodway coming off a tough tough loss to Montlake Terrace a 13 inning game lost it in the bottom of the 13 with a home solo home run to walk off by Montlake Terrace player Missy Wilcox so uh We'll see if they can not go 13 innings today because that's just like a double header here as we get ready for this game today. So there's the first pitch out there by Glacier Peak. That's number 24, Ashley Simmons out there on the, on the mound. Behind the plate, we've got Cooper Hurt. No, we've got... Excuse me. We've got Emma Bullinger. Got to read the numbers right. That pitch was the ball, so Nikki's up there at the plate now. Let's see if we can catch the the count here for you in a moment. Here's the pitch. That's a little high for a ball. So Nikki steps back in. Looking for the pitch here. That's a little on the outside. Three balls. Somebody's going to take a hard look at this one as she slips back in the plate there. Both first base and third base are well in close looking for the bunt as that pitch is in there for the strike. So let's see if Moni's going to do a bunt. The third base, first base Grizzlies are still come in tight, anticipating her to do that. And she squares up, and and that's just off the outside corner for a called strike and a big K strikeout to start the inning here for the Grizzlies. One down. Second batter up here for Evans Woodway here is Jackie Lovelace. That pitches a little bit on the outside for ball one. You can actually see pretty good from this vantage point back here. So, and get a good look at uh, Mr. Umpire's fingers as well. Oh, there's an attempted bunt as fouled off. So one and one to be the count to Jackie here. Jackie looks like a pretty small young lady out there, and she's doing the catching duties here today for Edmonds Woodway. So we'll see how she does behind the plate. And there's a hard ball past third base, playing in a little tight into left field for a base hit. First hit of the game for Edmonds Woodway, and Jackie's on first. Now coming up to the plate for the Warriors is Kendra Cooper. K 
Kinder playing second base today for the Warriors. She pops one up, up over the backstop, over the top of our little red truck booth and into safety land. Oh, yeah, and you talked me into parking back there. Yeah, I talked you into parking back here. If it comes real close, you can catch it. I'm worried about the hood of the truck. Uh, well, you have to climb over the cab to get to <laughs> ah, Well, let's just hope it's for the best here. And there's a bunt laid down to third base. Over to first, and that was safe. She was a little late getting there. That ball was in the dirt. So a nice little sacrifice bunt ended up with a hit. Um, putting Jackie on second and Kendra on first. And she beat that out. Taylor Jones, first baseman here for Edmonds Woodway, sipping into the box, batting right-handed, runners on first and second here. One out for Edmonds Woodway as we look at the pitch. And that ball's a little inside, runners are advanced, no throw. Very conservative play there by the Grizzlies as uh, Woodway girls are now on second and third in scoring position with one out. Hit scores at least one run. So we'll see if uh, Taylor can do that here today. There's the pitch. And it's in there for a swinging strike or a called strike. I want you to stand over here by the front of my truck. Because you talked me into coming over here. And I just realized when I saw a hot fly go like this. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, the hood of my truck. Put a blanket on it. <laughs> There's a hard hit ball right down to short, up from short, over to first for the second out, but scores a run as Jackie Lovelace comes in to score the first run for the Grizzlies. And Taylor makes an out, but an RBI. Two outs, one run in for Edmonds Woodway. At the plate should be Sierra Ortez. Takes that first pitch, look pretty close, a little bit high. Sierra looks like about five foot tall out there. One run, yeah. One run in here for Edmonds Woodway. It's a pitch that's a little bit outside again. Sierra taking that pitch. Looking at two balls here. Ashley working hard here against uh, Sierra. There's the wind up. And that pitch is hit on the ground. Slow roller to Ashley. And Ashley quickly over the first for out number three. So one run scored here on two hits for Evans Woodway as we move into the bottom of the first inning here. Be right back. drain or other plumbing problems call action jackson plumbing for 24-hour service unclogging most internal drains for just 99 dollars plus tax call 425-877-5601 or visit actionjacksonplumbing.com all right you're back all right back here at glacier peak high school here for the bottom of the first inning uh, game softball fast pitch softball game here edmunds woodway glacier peak Edmonds Woodway scored one run to start that first inning off as we get ready to start the bottom here of the first inning. Beautiful sunny day out here in Glacier Peak. Slight wind coming in from left field toward home plate. Might hang some balls up out there for the outfielders. But uh, let's see if Glacier Peak can get something going. So on the mound for Edmonds Woodway out there is Mariah Woolley. Getting ready for her first pitch. First pitch is a little bit low in there to Bella McMillan. Takes the first pitch for a ball. So 
A little cheering coming out of the Glacier Peak dugout over there, trying to encourage Bella to get something going, and she bunts one off foul over toward their bench for a strike. So. There's a down ball hit to second base, picked up quickly over to first for the out, and out number one for Bella as she grounds out to second base. Now batting for the Grizzlies, number three, Jocelyn Matheny, as she takes that pitch right off the top, of, right at the top of the shoulders there for a called strike for Joss. Stepping back in there. There's a lot of heat on that last pitch. Fastball. There's another one. Josh grounds it out to short. Picked up quickly by short. Over to first for out number two. So two up, two down. As Jocelyn grounds out to short. But they're getting the bat on the ball there. And now we have Nina Kim at the plate. See what Nina can do here. Takes the first pitch, and that's going to drop over the... Oh, it went into the center field, and she bobbled that ball as Nina gets into first on an error. E8. So, uh, should have been an easy out. Woodway should have been heading for the dugout, but that ball was kind of spinning and dropping a little bit, and that wind may have held it up just a little bit there to make it a little more difficult. And there's a nice high fast pitch in there to Aurora Ellison for a called strike one. Oh, that pitch was in the dirt. Almost hit her, but missed her. Is now get Nina Kim advancing to second. Two outs, runner on second here for the Grizzlies. Nina Kim get a nice hit out of this. He could get this game tied up for the Grizzlies, but and there's another ball inside. So Aurora steps back in here again. Let's see what the pitch is. And she grounds it down to the second baseman, picks it up easily over to first for the out. So one left on base and an error on Woodway for the end of that inning. No runs. Error on Woodway? Error on Woodway. We'll be back for the top of two in a bit. Gives us a chance again. We have to thank all the great people who helped us put on this broadcast. A Wesco Septic Service. Try them out. AWescoSeptic.com or call 888-488-488. 5588 tell them that you heard this ad on stspn.com and you will get $50 off your next service they offer 24 hour service 7 days a week with over 25 years of experience 24 out 7 days a week 24 hours a day did you say 24 hours a day you just call them or go online and they'll help you out how often do you get midnight septic service not very often. Drew Vader. <laughs> We're often at our house. We have a septic. We're all about septic at the Oshman Messina household. All right, back here at uh, Glacier Peak High School, getting ready for the top of the second inning here. Edmonds Woodway leading this game 1-0 with a run in the first inning here. At the plate is for Woodway is Era Grand. And she grounds one right past Jocelyn Thini, second base out to right field, and makes it into first for the nice solid hit to start off the second inning. So Evans got a runner on first. No outs at the plate. Should be number seven, Mariah Woolley. And that's a pitch right in there for a called strike.
One strike, no balls on Mariah Woolley. Runner on first. Let's see if she's thinking of a bunting. She is, and she tries to bunt. Went for a high outside pitch and ends up with a called strike. 0-2 oh to Mariah here as she looks down to her coach for the signal. And I think it's going to be hit away. So uh, here's the pitch. And that's high for a ball. Ashley should be getting this ball down in there for that leading count here. One and two to Mariah. Here's this pitch. And that's ground ball right past the pitcher. Pick bobbled by the shortstop. And runners safe at second and first. That would be an error on the shortstop as Woodway, first two batters up, are on the bases. Now at the plate, Kyra Colling, oops, Colling Ridge. <coughs> I read my own writing here. Kyra stepping in here with runners on first and second. She drops a nice little bunt down there to the pitcher over the first. And that's out number one. Nice sacrifice bunt by Kyra there to advance the runners. Second and third. So one out, runners on second and third. And brings up number two. Shailen De La Cruz. I think I got your name right, Shailen. Let's hope you can drive some runs in here for the Woodway girls. There's a pitch up high for a ball. Shayla looks down, gets her signal from the coach down at third base there. Steps back in the box. Ready for the pitch. She bunts one right in front of the plate. And it's called fair. No throw to first. And that's basically a hit. As Shaylin advances to first. Runners on first, second, and third. As uh, have a short time out here for GP. As uh, Caitlin wants to talk things over out there with the girls. The base is loaded here and one out. This could be the last day of summer this week. Uh, sitting out here in about 60 degree temperatures. Watching the sun go down in the west. Couldn't be any better than this, right Todd? Nice stuff here. Nice as stuff. As the softball doesn't hit my truck. Hey, your truck's invincible. <laughs> yeah. It's repairable. It's fixable. All right, Caitlin's got the instructions out there for the Grizzlies. Base is loaded here. Back to the top of the lineup here, and Moni Jackson at the plate. Four Woodway Warriors here, and that ball's low in the dirt. Everybody back on the bag. No problem. Four batters up, one out for Woodway here. Bases loaded. Moni Jackson, fifth batter in this inning at the plate. Takes a look at this pitch, and it's in there, and she grounds it. Shortstop goes to first for one out, lets the run score. So another run for Woodway as Eric Gerard comes in, making the score 2-1. Two outs here for Woodway. Now stepping up to plate, Jackie Lovelace. See if Jackie can get something to happen here. And that ball's low. Runners on second and third. As, uh, Jackie takes that first pitch low. There's a nice pop-up fly that's going to go over the top of the shortstop. She's back under it and gets it for out number three. So that wind held that up there. And Jackie pops out to the shortstop. One run scored and one error on the Grizzlies. We'll be right back for the bottom of two. Let's see what the Grizzlies can do.
got a new pitcher. All right, back here at Glacier Peak High School for this beautiful, sunny summer softball game. Glacier Peak, Edmonds Woodway, Edmonds Woodway leading 2 0 with a run in the first and a run in the second. Glacier Peak trying to get things going here again. Stepped up the plate here. This is Emma Bollinger for the Grizzlies. She takes that first pitch for a ball. Grizzlies need to get some action here. Haven't had many, many runners on the bases as she takes a second from over there. Mariah right, Willie doing a nice job on the mound out there for the Warriors today. Here's the pitch. And that's in there. That is a called strike. So two run to Emma Bollinger as she steps back in there. And there's a hard hit ball right past the pitcher into center field. Bob a little out there in center field but picked up back into the infield there as Emma finds her way to first base for the Grizzlies here. One up, one on. No outs. Bottom of two here. And uh, a little quick conversation here with uh, and I have a courtesy runner in there for the catcher. That's Rebecca Willis going in there to run for Emma. Emma will come back out and put the gear on so there won't be any delays in the game. Now to play to Abby, Abby Winkler. Winkler. Sorry, Abby. <laughs> Abby steps in there. Let's see if they're going to play small ball and try to bump this around and advance that runner from first base. Or she's just going to swing away. She's looking to bunt and she tries to bunt. The throw is down there. Man, it's late, and she's out. Wow, she was late getting there. That was pretty much a sacrifice bump. Uh, Rebecca Willis was a little slow getting down to second base and making it out at that point. So very important to get that bat on the ball if you're going to be the bunter on a sacrifice run like that. Time out here, one strike. Abby steps back in here. There's the pitch and a swing and a miss. And a nice strike, a nice low inside pitch there. Abby took a good cut at that, a little bit behind it. As Mariah is putting some fast heat on there and she swings at another low pitch in the dirt. I think she might have got a piece of that one. <coughs> What? Okay, time out here for a minute. What's that say on the truck there? <laughs> so they're broadcasting live on in in watch it now. Where's that going out? On, is that on the just on the truck? We got a rolling message bar on the back of the truck. Watch it live on STSPN. Todd Elbig with all the toys to play with out here today. All right, here's the pitch. And that ball looked awful good, but wasn't called good. Should be one and two dabs there. That's a foul tip ball. New ball thrown in by the umpire there, Lee Davis. Nice little round yellow balls. One and two is count here. And there's another pitch in there, just a little bit high. Make it two and two. Heavy. One off for the Grizzlies here, are trying to steal second on a sacrifice play. Abby steps back in. Here comes the pitch. And 
that looked pretty good, but it wasn't. Very close, just a little bit high. Full count in here, Tabby. Not gonna let anything good go by here on this one. So keep the bat moving, there it is, and she does. It kind of dribbles down to third, picked up by a third base over to first in time for the out. And that would be out number two. As Abby grounds out to third base. Two outs here for the Grizzlies. One hit earlier by Emma Bollinger, who was relieved on first base by Rebecca Willis, who was then called out stealing second on a sacrifice play. There's a nice pitch in there. Tabby Dunny for a called strike. Bottom of two, two outs here for the Grizzlies. No threat to get a run was thwarted there with that stolen base mistake. So two and one to Abby. All right, Willie having a nice day out there for the Chris, for the Warriors there. She puts that one in the dirt. Abby takes. Should be three and one to Ab. Two, two Abbies on the Glacier Peak team here, back to back. And there's a hard hit ball through the legs of the pitcher, picked up by Short easily and over the first for out number three to end this inning for the Grizzlies here. So. After two, it's two nothing, Edmonds Woodway. We'll be right back. Top of three back here. Fast pitch softball. Great little game for anyone to play, whether it's high school, college, or intramural. Great game to play. Lots of fun. Right now, Edmonds Woodway leading this one 2 nothing. There's a swing and a miss there by Kendra Cooper. Starts to the top of three. Kendra got a hit in the first inning. The second up here. There's a ground ball foul toward the Glacier Peak dugout. Nice little strike move. He's kind of way ahead of that. A little bit of a changeup pitch there. So Kendra steps back in there. 0 oh 2 is the count. Ready for the pitch. Ooh, that ball's flying high and over the hand, head of the uh, umpire and the catcher into the backstop, bouncing out to the first baseman who picks it up. Nobody on, no harm done, just a little ball. One ball and two strikes. There's the pitch, and that's in there. Ground ball to shortstop, picked up quickly over to first. Nicely done for out number one for the Edmonds Woodway here. Nixick. Oh, excuse me, that's Kendra Cooper made that. Oh, in the wrong box here. Sorry, guys. 
ball inside to Taylor Jones. And she steps in. Ball a little bit high. So there's um, no score. It looks down to third. See if she gets the clearance to hit away on a good pitch. At this point, I think she would. Here's the pitch, and it's popped up right to pitcher, and the pitcher falls off the first baseman and makes the out. Fly out to the pitcher. One out here, or second, two outs here for Woodway. Now coming up to plate number 11, Sierra Ortez. There's the first pitch. Looked good, and it was a called strike on Sierra there. You just kind of watch that one float in there. Two outs. Here's the pitch. And Sierra fouls that off back over to the Glacier Peak dugout fence. 0 oh 2. So Sierra behind the count here. To get ready for this next pitch. Two up, two down so far. No, a swing and a miss outside. The Sierra went for that one for out number three. And one, two, three, the Grizzlies take care of that inning. We'll be back for the bottom of three right after this. Clog drain? Other plumbing problems? Call Action Jackson Plumbing for 24-hour service. Owned by a lifetime Edmonds resident and Edmonds Woodway grad, Action Jackson is the drain cleaning specialist. They can unclog most internal drains for only $99 plus tax. Call 425-877-5601 or visit actionjacksonplumbing.com. All right, back here for the bottom of inning in number three here for the Grizzlies. Coming to the plate here should be number six, Laura Nixick. Still 2-0. Edmonds Woodway leading this ball game here. As the Grizzlies are trying hard to get something going here. So Laura steps in here looking for the first pitch here. And that's a little bit low. Ball one. Lots of noise coming out of the Grizzly bench. Not much noise coming from the fans here today, but since a nice day, lots of parents and grandparents out here to watch this ball game as that ball sails high up over the head for ball number two. Mariah Willie really having a little bit of starting out control problem here. As uh, she's going to bear down again on. Lauren, and that ball's low in the dirt for ball number three. So Lauren, with three and oh, we get the plate dusted off of here by Lou Davis so he can see the corners. And uh, uh, get Lauren stepping back in there, and with a 3 0 pitch. I'm guessing that uh, she's going to take this all the way. Here's the pitch, and it's inside for a ball, and I think that's the first walk of the ball game here. As Laura goes to first on the walk. Now batting for the Grizzlies, Madeline Ferrero. She drops down that little bunt in front of the plate. Nicely done. Oh, over to first. A throw back to third. And she's out going for third. So, holy mackerel. A lot of action going on there as Madeline bunted that ball. Thrown out at first. And Laura Nixick out of trying to go all the way to third on that bunt. So, out number two 
And just like that, the bases are cleared for the Grizzlies. Uh, a lot of action going on. Nothing worked out in their favor, unfortunately. So here we go. And there's another bunt back toward the foul screen where we're standing or sitting. No harm. First strike there. And that's good. Bella tries to bunt the first one there. So two outs. Bella McMillan at the plate here trying to keep something going, get something going again for the Grizzlies as they had some action there. But uh, nothing really worked out for them. Things went south as they tried to stretch the, the running in the third there. There's a bunt tried to lay down. My umbrella foul tipped off. Two outs here, bottom of three for the Grizzlies. Bella's got two strikes on her there. There's Mariah Woolley looking very confident out there on the mound as she drops that in there. And there's a little ground roll with the shortstop picked up quickly over to first. And that ball is dropped by the first baseman on error on three. So Bella is on first. E three. Another era for the Edmonds Woodway girls here in this game. As Jocelyn slips to the plate here. Jocelyn Athene, nice little ball player here for the Grizzlies. Takes that first pitch for a ball. Two outs, runner on first. Let's see if Jocelyn can make something happen here. And that ball inside. Oh, he called it a strike. Maybe she went on that. It's close. In either case, I think it's one and one. Jocelyn steps back in there looking for the pitch. Here's the pitch. And that's low in the dirt. She hadn't moved her foot. She could have uh, punted that one. That would have hurt, probably. First again, Jocelyn steps in there, and there's a pop fly ball going over the top of the shortstop, out into right field, and floated up there and dropped into the right fielder's hands. And that win we talked about earlier did that for her. So Jocelyn's out with a fly to right field. No runs. We'll be right back after this for top of four. Back here for top four should be seeing Ara Dur Duran at the plate number eight here. Let's see. Number eight is, like I said, Ara Duran. Ara pops one off the whole screen. Back into the baseball field, scaring the technical director here with a long fly ball. Pitch. Another fly ball. The right fielder can't quite get that far, but it didn't. I think if it hadn't been for that wind coming in, that might have been uh, hanging up long enough for her to get there, but it just drifted foul down the far right field line for a long strike here for Ara. Two strikes, no balls. She's doing what I got here. Ara's not that much go by here, so see what she thinks of this next pitch. And she liked it, but she fouled it off again. It's kind of a change-up, kind of inside. Still sitting here with two strikes as she looks down to her coach, Mike Venable, on third base to get that signal. He says, I'm sure, 
Get the ball in the outfield. That's what I'd be saying anyway. There it is, and she does just that. Right out to deep center, past the center field. She's going in there for two, and she's going to make it in there for two. Standing up. Stand up double there for Erin Durand as she It's a very nice hit. Well done by Coach Mike Venable down there if he called that hit. So, uh, now stepping up to plate for Woodway here is Mariah Willey, the pitcher. She lays down a bunt on first. It's rolling foul. Nicely done, but a little taper on the turf out there, on the dirt out there, rolled that ball foul. So just a strike. Nice idea to try to advance the runners there. I think she'll try it again. I'm sure that her coach would like to have that done. And she didn't bear away. She watched that ball go in low, the ball. Mariah steps out, looks down at her coach, Mike Venable, to get those signals again. This time looking in, and she is going to take the bunt. This one, this time she does bunt it down the front of the plate, and and a uh, little bobble there as Jocelyn took that throw, and she's called out out there by Nick Nickerson, and I think he was right. So sacrifice bunt there. For Mariah for out number one, advancing the runner to third. And the ground ball to the pitcher there. Over to first for the out. Throw to plate. And she's in. To, took, the, took the throw to first and scored the run. So here's the run. Scored run number three here for the Warriors. As Kyra makes out number two for the Warriors. Now batting for the Warriors. Should be number two, Shailen De La Cruz. Shailen takes that first pitch in there. I think he called it a ball. Two outs, one run in here for the Warriors, giving them a 3-0 lead here in the four, top of four. There's a ground ball to third, picked up quickly over to first for out number three. And Shailen ends the inning there for the Warriors. We'll be right back for the bottom of four here with the Grizzlies right after this. Back for the bottom of four here at Glacier Peak High School. Warriors leading this game here. 3-0 with a run in the first, a run in the second, and a run on the top of four there. And uh, looks like they're kind of keeping things well under control here as Mariah Willey is handling things nicely out there on the mound for the Warriors. Grizzlies looking to get some action going here as we move into the bottom of Action, yeah, they need some action. They need some action. Jackson against uh, Edmonds Woodway and Moni Jackson is the shortstop for Edmonds Woodway and Moni Jackson of Action Jackson fame family. And there's the pitch inside. Nina Kim, she takes the ball one. Nina batting number three here for the Grizzlies. Looking to get on base somehow, some way to get something going here as they are looking down at a three nothing deficit here. And she takes that ball high and swings away for strike number one. Nina looking back in there. 
Here's the pitch. Takes that ball high. Doesn't swing at that one. Two and one. A little noise coming out of the grizzly dugout over there. And a little encouragement. See if she can get Nina to swing at something. She does. She's got way out in front of that one and fouled it down the third base line. Foul. Should be two and two as Mariah Woolley steps back in here. Yes, we are confirmed it's two and two by Lou Davis there as he waves his fingers in the air. And here's the pitch. And she pops that one up over the top of the backs out. Out of play. And Nina's in there again. Two and two still should be the count. Putting the dent, there's no dents, no dents. And there's a plop hit over the top of the pitcher. Shortstop quickly picks it up and he gets, she gets it there in time. Well done by the shortstop out there for the Warriors, Moni Jackson, just talking about her earlier as she does a nice job throwing, making that first out there for the Warriors. Nina Kim. Out on the way to first, 6-3. Now batting for the Grizzlies, Aurora Ellison. Aurora playing center field here today for the Grizzlies. Time out, says Lou Davis. Brushes off the plate there. Aurora kind of shuffling the dirt around the batter's box here. Just careful not to get any on that freshly brushed off plate that Lou Davis just cleaned up there. So I says that was a ball. It's ball one. Here's the pitch. And that ball's in the dirt. Ball number two. Aurora looking down. For her signals there. I'm out, she says, stepped back out of the box, wasn't quite comfortable yet. Now Aurora's back in there, waiting for this pitch. And that ball's low inside. She's got 3-0, and 3-0. Oh, and oh. She looks down there at her coach. Stepping back into the plate. She'll take this all the way, I'm sure. And it does take all the way for a called strike. Never liked that when I was a batter. Even at 3-0, and I knew it was going to be a strike. Easy pitch to hit. I don't know why I had to take it. But uh, had to do what the coach said. And that ball's low inside. As we moves to first. One on, one out. Now coming up for plate for the Grizzlies, Emma Bullinger. Emma got a hit the second inning there, but was stranded on base, never got in. Takes out a call strike. One on, one out for Emma here. She steps back into the plate. Takes another pitch. Looks a little low. Second time up to bat here for Emma, so gotta hit the last time up to see if she can rack another one up there. And that one's low and inside, and the ball kind of scoots out of the hand of the catcher there. And nobody moves. That's Roy Ellison holds on to first. Not attempting any runs here because they've been picked off a couple of times, so we'll see how they do this time. There's the pitch, and that looked pretty good for a called strike. takes that one. I'm guessing it's one and two here to Emma. See what you can do with this one. She plows it off at the back, so it's still going to be one and two. Runners on first. One out here, bottom of four for the Grizzlies. Really need to get something good to happen here. 
She's got some little white ribbons hanging out the back of her batting helmet there. And that ball looked like it was flying high and it wasn't quite good enough. Three and two, says Lou Davis. He steps back in the plate here. Let's see what this pitch means. She follows that off down the third base line. Not letting anything good go by. One out, one on. See what the tension builds here for Emma. She steps back into the plate. And here's the pitch. And she flops that one. It's going to go out over the center fielder's head. And that's over the fence for a home run. Scoring two runs for the Grizzlies here. And just like that, this game is back 3-2 to two as all the Grizzly players come back out here to the plate to give them the congratulations she needed for that. And that was a well-hit ball up into that incoming breeze and up over that fence. So uh, just like that, Grizzlies back in this ball game as Abby Winkler steps up to the plate here. Get a nice fast pitch and a nice good cut and you got some action happening there for Action Jackson. That pitch is low and inside. Abby Winkler. Abby playing left field today for the Grizzlies. She steps back in there. Takes the next pitch high and outside. Ball two. One out, two in here for the Grizzlies as they trail this game three to two at the moment. But lots of time left in a seven inning game and that ball's low and inside. So looks like uh, Mariah Woolley out there is a little bit upset. And uh, timeout's called. It's her team.